Hello, hello. This is Alicia Connor from Quick and Delish. And today's topic, this evening's topic is hydration. Wine of the gods. Water is wine of the gods. You, yes. If you thought it was uh, wine from grapes, you were wrong. <laughs> I know it might be a controversial topic and I'm not here to have an argument. I'm here to support your hydration. So I've noticed the last couple days I actually needed more water than I normally have because the air is like dry in San Francisco and I don't know, the allergies, I don't know. Maybe my apartment, I thought my my apartment was moist and I don't know, but it's dry. So I've been having to have more like 80 ounces where I normally like try to do like 64-ish or whatever, unless I'm exercising or if it's hot out or whatever. And so I needed to make sure to get more water. And so I wanted to talk about, um, so water is just like essential. And uh, sometimes it's really super easy to forget to drink water. You know, if you have to pee a lot, um, <laughs> And now, like, a lot of us are spending a lot of time at home. And so, like, luckily the bathroom's there. It's, like, the best thing in the world. <laughs> Focusing on the bonuses here. Bonuses, people. Keeping the mind's eye on the bonuses in life, no matter what the situation is, right? Okay. So, like, don't chug, like, 32 ounces. So, today, I was using uh, my 32 ounce jar. Uh, this is one of those like um, mason jars or whatever. And um, it was really helpful that I drank two of these already. And um, so I just have a little more to go. <clears throat> and so sometimes it's helpful, like you have to choose the right container um, or glass or whatever, right? And there's so many different kinds. And um, so I was drinking out of this because I thought it'd be cool to show off that you can drink water out of any cool glass that you have in the house. Um, another option is to have a small glass or whatever your size glass is and then have a pitcher next to it, like a gorgeous pitcher. Sometimes you need something really attractive to to pour out of just because it feels good. And pitchers could be like five bucks or something like that. Um, and so that's kind of fun to have a pitcher near you and certainly away from your electronics, which I know there's always these reasons not to do whatever. I'm, I'm like armed with the um, the argument <laughs> to drink more water. I'm armed. Um, one of the um, I like this bottle for traveling because um, it's narrow and it's 16 ounces. And so I know exactly how much it is. And I just carry it around and. Um, so that's convenient. Some people like to drink out of stainless steel when you're out and about, but if you're drinking cold water out of stainless steel, oftentimes my hands are cold and so I don't want something to make my hands cold. And then you can't put hot water in it really. You could put like warmish water and that would help me keep my hands warm. Um, so there's a couple of details to think about here. So I have this like a uh, running water bottle, which has actually been extremely helpful, especially when traveling. Sometimes you just need like a little something, something to help you um, stay hydrated in case like you don't have access to um, water. Um, so sometimes you need just like a small container, you know, if you're on like a plane or something like that. Um, and then, you know, there's sports bottles, you know, looking for BPA free or um, gross chemical free um, water bottles. Um, and there's pros and cons to the different kinds of water bottles. Some are easier to squeeze, some of them are harder um, keep them washed. I also like, I, this is a, um, a glass jar with straw. It's super easy to suck down a bunch of water with straw. Right. And that's why I like sodas and stuff go down really easily is because you can just sip, suck it down really easily. Um, so that's one of the reasons why they're kind of dangerous actually. Um, calorie wise, right. And sugar. Um, so this is kind of cool because it's super easy to clean you know? Um, and then this one's super fun. This is the pineapple glass jar. <laughs> and, um, this I got from cost plus world market. Um, no, I got it from Bevmo beverages and more if you prefer. Um, so this is just kind of fun. Like it's fun to drink out of something that's kind of fun. Um, so I think this is 16 ounces if memory serves. Um, but can be fun. You got to spice it up, right? Spice up life. 
Um, and then this is a Nalgene, uh, or just kidding, it's a Camelback bottle um, with a straw. Can be handy. Just got to make sure it's clean uh, once in a while. Fill her up, and I think this is 24 ounces. So um, sometimes it's easier to drink out of something small. Sometimes it's easier to drink out of something big. Like I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not, uh, I don't like, you know, absolutions like, um, uh, like I'm never gonna, <laughs> but I am less likely to carry around a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle around with me, like around town. And some people are totally carrying around 32 ounces and that's cool because it's extra weight and then it's like more exercise to carry stuff around. I pl I carry plenty stuff around town already. It's one of the reasons my right shoulder is a little upset with me. Um, and so I have to be careful about what I carry. And so I prefer to carry like a 16 or 24 ounce bottle around with me um, or just have a different, I have a bottle at work when I'm working physically there on, on site. Um, and that just lives there and stays there. And then I'm not going back and then I have my bike bottle for when I commute. Um, and then I have whatever I drink out of at home, which is usually something different. And I'm kind of non-committal about what I drink out of at work. So yesterday I was drinking out of a 16 ounce glass, like a pint glass. And that worked pretty good, but I felt like I needed more than whatever I did yesterday. And so I wanted a way to easily, t um, easily track, calculate whatever, what I was doing while doing all these different tasks throughout the day. Um, having, um, one-on-one -on -one appointments, um, catching people by phone or video, um, typing, etc. Um, cool. So wine of the gods is water and it's hydration, right? Our body, our skin, our, digestive system loses about uh, two liters of water a day, no matter what, plus or minus, depending on your height, your weight, all these things, right? Um, but through sweat, right? We, we're sweating, ev even if we don't think we're sweating, <laughs> like we're, just because you don't get like sweaty, um, doesn't mean that you're not sweating throughout the day. Um, and so we lose uh, moisture through sweat, um, you know, tears, digestion, you got to keep things moving. Some people might lean towards being a little bit constipated if they're not getting enough water and a constipated person is not a happy person. <laughs> right? So the goal is to keep things moving. That's one of the variables that increases the risk of constipation. And we want to keep people happy, right? And <laughs> right. <laughs> and then, um, uh, yeah, and you, you might uh, be dehydrated if you experience a little bit of um, diarrhea as well. It works for both sides. Diarrhea and constipation is just kind of uh, weird, um, but that's just the way it is. Um, and so, uh, and then remembering that fiber and water are best friends. They're best friends forever. And so if you, they, you need to have enough water and have enough fiber to keep your whole bowel movement situation happy. Um Many dietitians enjoy talking about and improving uh, bowel movements uh, in their patients or whatever. You know, it's like a personal insider secret. <laughs> you tell me, the next dietitian you meet, tell, ask them if uh, they have, they like um, uh, helping people improve their bowel movements. I think it's part of our, it's a part of our work description. Actually, it is part of our work description. <laughs> um so I help people improve their bowel movements. That's one of the uh, the symptoms that people experience and one of the things I troubleshoot. Um, and so water and fiber are best friends forever. So if you have too much fiber, then you can get constipated. Like I had a patient, perfect story. Um, I had a patient who like was really into chia seed, right? Like so her LDL cholesterol was a little high and then um, she wanted to lose a little weight. And so she was adding chia seed to a lot of the food that she ate. And she got constipated. And it takes about like three days to recover from a bout of constipation, if I may. And so it's just, you got to have a lot of patience and the time will go by. Um, but so, so she, so you can't do anything extreme, right? So if you hit something hard because you're like, oh, this is a healthy choice, um, you might mess up your system. 
So there is this uh, like avoiding ex extreme mentalities. Um, and that's why working with a professional like myself to keep you in check, right? Reality check, like what is reasonable, what works, what doesn't work, and then um, going from there. Because we have we have a tendency in our uh, culture to do something like jump on the main wagon of like something new and then like we might have other issues. Um, so there's always the, the overall umbrella. I wish I had like a cartoon that would be like umbrella. So just pretend, use your imagination for me. We're working in, um, we're in shelter in place. And so I'm doing what I can with um, <laughs> entertaining you and um, uh, I guess entertaining myself as well and giving you some information that's helpful, genuinely helpful. That's my purpose in life is to be genuinely helpful. And so that is my story for today. Today is day 15 of the 33 day self debt, self care, self care is your best defense challenge is our collective best defense about um, this situation to stay cool, calm and collect. Um, because this thing is not going to totally mess with us. It's already messed with us enough. It's not going to take our spirit. It's not going to take our, our prioritizing our health, right? If you're with me, comment below. Amen to that. Okay, cool. Let's have a, let's enjoy what we can. That's all I'm going to say. Enjoy what we can, what we have between this time and the next time. That's all I'm going to say. Enjoy what we can. Keep the smiling. Keep the spirits up. This is temporary situation and uh, we'll, um, yeah. So we're already halfway through April. We'll see what happens over the next couple of weeks. We just got to be patient. Let's have, let's take care of us because we're number one. All right.